Just throwing a Meg 8 uh, bucktail. Uh, she came in hot on the figure 8 and nailed it on the first turn. Fishing the boat. The Lake of the Woods, uh, you know, it's a world class fishery. 50 inch potential muskies in this lake all over from here all the way to Kenora, all the way over to Morrison. Big, big fish, big fish, big fish. I got her. Told you, dude. Yeah. Good fish, Forrest. Good fish. Nice. Your head was giant. Doing some exploring today. Hope my buddy Forrest just switched baits to a big crankbait in the sun. Second cast, fish just smoked it. Giant head, huge belly. Oh, she's just, I mean, she's gotta be 25, maybe 30 pounds. Super fat, 48 inches, flawless fish. These fish just don't see the pressure. Dude, yes. Spot, third spot of the trip. <laughs> oh, did she? Did you see? As, as soon as you said fish, I saw her and I just powered it, <laughs> oh, and she freaking, shoof, she was on it. I got her. I got her. I got her. That's the one. That's the one I told you. Was, yep, yep. That's the one I told you was in here last year, dude. Just freaking told you. Yes. Good fish. Little bit, little bit, little bit. Yeah. Woo, 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 woo. Yeah. All right, 
Nice job, buddy. You nice fish. The water, dude. I did. She came up. Oh, all the way out. Oh my God. <laughs> dude, we've been we've been grinding. Let me see four this morning. Nice fish. That's a really good fish for us. Just crushed it. Yeah. <laughs> 47 and a half. We actually started fishing this spot last year. We were exploring. When me and Forrest get up here together, we, we go and look for new water. Um, what did you like when you saw in this spot? You know, there's uh, some nice, rock, nice big uh, rock saddles here. Uh, wind was blowing right on it. Um, for sure. She just she crushed it, yeah. She was right where she needed to be. She's on these wind-blown points. These fish move up, and then you say the the belly on this fish is awesome. They're super clean, really nice and clear. Great fish for us. <laughs> had a tough day so far, but it, it all turns around. All you need is one, one good bite. Drew, fish, 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 big one. Big one. Not hook good, not hook good, not hook good. I can't, I can't. Okay. Uh. Got her, buddy. Woo! Nice job. There you go. Just came off a wind blowing point. We had fish up, what, three casts earlier? You had a fish up? Yep. On the back side, we figured there'd be a bigger one on the front. And she just chowed it out from the boat and gave me a heck of a fight. Super heavy. Staying at sunset, I mean, you uh, you have the Canadian waters literally a mile mile from the resort, and once you get into Canadian waters, I mean, there's unlimited amount of spots to fish. I've been guiding out of sunset for three years now. Uh, last summer, I put uh, 137 fish in my boat and doubled my number from the previous year. Oh, I saw her tail. There she is. Got her. <clears throat> Up here, up here, up here. Easy, easy, easy. There you go. <laughs> Dude. Dude. Yes. Did you see her freaking crush it on that corner? No. Nope. Musky fishing up here starts uh, Ju the third weekend in June. And uh, it runs, you know, until ice up and really, the prime prime casting conditions is August, September, and October. We're doing a lot of trolling up here. July and August, we're throwing a lot of a lot of big baits, looking for them big fish. Uh, we're throwing double bladed tens, and we're throwing big spinner baits, and we're throwing nine, ten inch stick baits. Top waters in the evening when it's calm. Fishing a lot of lot of rock structure, and but still fishing some some cabbage beds. A lot of lot of deep water or structure that has deep water next to it. 